more people might be going to prison because of this Bobrisky and very dark man issue and you'll be shocked of the people that might go to prison at the end of the day let me explain now before i explain you need to understand that the way this issue is going right now at the end of the day Bobrisky and very dark man might be out of the equation because this issue is about to review a lot of corruption happening in the correctional service and also in the efcc a lot of people might get involved at the end of the day that you might not need to talk about the very dark man and Bobrisky in the issue again anyway let me break it down so that you understand now before i continue you need to understand that the national assembly has ordered the correctional service to provide the cctv footage of Bobrisky's cell video like the same they provide the cctv that proved that Bobrisky was actually in their custody during that period now here's the implication if the correctional service failed to provide the cctv video that proved that Bobrisky was actually in their custody or he was actually in a prison or maybe vip prison in Krikri, which they claim that it was if they fail to provide that video it means that the audio or the voice recording or the call recording that very dark man released was actually true it will mean that everything that Bobrisky said in that voice call is true and Bobrisky will be wrong by saying that that voice called is ai generated now if at the end of the day very dark man ends up proving that Bobrisky was kept in an apartment and not in prison it means that most of the big people in nigeria that have been sentenced do not actually go to prison but rather they either pay for their pardon or they pay for their prison sentence allegedly and that is why i say at the end of the day this matter is going to be bigger than bob risky and very dark man because at this point it's no longer about them because at this point the matter is now between the house of rep and the efcc and the nigeria correctional service because house of rep have to see the end of this matter now imagine a country where somebody is being sentenced to prison and he do not do his prison term rather he pays for vip lodge or probably sometimes he pay for vacation to fly them out now here's the question all those ex-governors all those ex-senators that were convicted are you really sure that they're in prison or maybe they're somewhere in bahamas chilling we might not know and that is why this matter is revealing a lot about the corruption going on in the nigeria correctional service and the efcc a lot of issues that have died down in efcc do they pay 15 million for the issue to be dropped or they actually investigate it if Bobrisky could allegedly pay 15 million for money laundering case to be removed from his file how are you sure that yaya Bilo has not paid 15 billion for money laundering case to be removed and that is why maybe allegedly they've not cashed him now remember when house of rev asked the controller general of the nigerian correctional service that was this suspended that he said that his suspension was social media suspension that he saw it on social media are you in, are you are you on suspension you said yes Social media the Nigerian Correctional Service has released an official statement stating that three top officials were suspended from Krikri because of the same issue. They want to reaffirm Nigeria and say, we could no fear, we really actually suspended those people. It's not just social media suspension. But how else would they prove it if they really, really suspended those people? Because the same official statement they released now is the same official statement they released even before now, which at the end of the day, we later discover that it was social media suspension. How are Nigerians going to be sure that this same reaffirmance they are posting right now on their social media platform is no longer or is not still social media suspension? Can they do their video and show that, okay, they know they can't work, oh, they're in their house, oh, we are not paying them, oh, they are suspension oh, until this investigation is done. But until then, we can only only believe what it told us because the Nigerian Correctional Service has lost the trust of Nigerians, including EFCC. Like I said earlier, this matter is just getting started. This matter will get to the judiciary and they will have the final say at the end of the day because there is no way the Nigerian Correctional Service and the House of Rep and the EFCC will not take this matter to court because somebody, somebody must actually go to jail this time around and the real jail because Nigerians need to know and be sure that this person is being locked up and is serving his sentence time but until then we can only know what they want us to know we can only believe what they made public we cannot do beyond that tell me what you think about this whole issue in the comment section but before you do do not forget to enjoy your weekend thank you